Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Today, I've got three different outfits styling three pairs of Doc Martin boots. Doc Martens are one of my favorite styles of boots. They have been for a really long time, even though it took me forever to actually get my first pair, which is the one I'm wearing right here. So let's start talking about the first outfit. I am wearing... I mean, the, these shoes are actually freaking awesome. It was a special collection. I had worked with High Snobiety to promote the drop of this first silhouette, where you see a broke pattern across the boot. Since then, they haven't done anything like this. I think they're beautiful. They give it a little bit more of a classy vibe, even though I chose to not go for that with today's outfit. I first picked up the color a little bit with this bomber. So you see you have like the cognac leather, but it has like an orange tint to it. So I think the bomber jacket really played well off of that. Underneath, I'm wearing a white t-shirt just to, you know, keep it simple. And I'm wearing navy twill five pocket pants. They're nice and slim and skinny. I like wearing skinny jeans with uh, Doc Martens. They're kind of chunky, but I think the contrast between the two works really well. To run the lookout, I'm wearing a pair of Xenia shades that have blue lenses and like a orangish brass, as well as my watch from Piaget that has rose gold, once again, to pick up the orange in the look, and then a navy, dark navy, almost grayish strap. So just to complete the color story and since I've had these boots, I've always styled them. Not always, but literally 90% of the time. With this Coach Bleeker backpack, the color combination is literally, they're, they're almost identical, which I think is amazing. And I love the cognac leather all together. So to really drive that point home, like I said, that is what I chose to do with look number one. Look number two is probably how I would wear Doc Martens the most. It's definitely embracing the grunginess of the brand. So we have a pair of black, they're like a super soft leather. They're not the classic 1460s because they have the sole that's kind of like jagged. But they have really soft black leather. But then you see a little bit of a beige trim around the sole. That is exactly what I tried to mirror with the top half of this. So you have a really loose, relaxed sweater up top, a cable knit sweater, and underneath a tan shirt that's just peeking out a tiny bit and almost resembles the boot in itself. Jeans are ripped and somewhat relaxed. They're obviously tapered, so they do exactly what I talked about with the first outfit. There's kind of that contrast between the skinny and the bulkiness, but up top they're a little bit more relaxed. And I finished the look off with a biker jacket. Once again, super into the grunge. Uh, a couple of rings on both hands, my Mont Blanc watch, and black shades. If you're wondering why I'm wearing shades a lot today and I don't usually, it's because we're heading towards spring and uh, the sun is getting a little bit more extreme out there. So I've been wearing a lot more shades. So you're gonna see them more on my channel again. But this is look number two. And look number three, my ODS squad should probably already know because this is the look from the last Getting Dressed video. Here I'm wearing a pair of dark brown Doc Martens, the most classic out of the three that I showed you today because they're classic 1460. You have the yellow contrast stitching, you have the yellow tab in the back, and even the shoelaces yellow in contrast to the brown. The entire look I chose to keep in earth colors. So a pair of slim tan five pocket pants and an oatmeal sweater up top. And then I finished the look off with a suede trucker jacket from Mango that was in my Mango haul. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go check that out as well. Uh, the accessories are a tiny bit different today than they were in the Getting Dressed video, frankly, because I grabbed the wrong pair of shades and also because I chose to keep it a little bit more minimal around the hands for today. But I'm, I've got a pair of Ryan shades, then I've got two rings on my fingers, and I wore my Breitling watch to finish it off. If you want to see this look, in much detail how I actually went about and built it step by step. That's what that series is all about. And with all of the Getting Dressed videos, you're getting a little cinematic sequence where we actually hop outside and show you the look and the motion. So make sure to check out that video. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I personally, like I said, love docs. So I decided to do a more in-depth video on them. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already because we have tons more videos coming this year. And make sure to turn on the post notifications so you don't us out as soon as they come up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with the next video. Until then, stay dapper. Bye. What's going on? Oh, wait, you gotta move. You're like, oh, you shit. can't put your leg on the floor. Oh, it's it's to be safe, it's fine. To sit on I'm the so sorry. Sit on the middle seat. Okay. What's wrong with you, Charlene? I don't know. I don't know I either. I just want to be in your video. What are you kidding? Okay. It's totally awesome.
I wear my sunglasses inside. So I can't, so I can't.